Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Dar Nevergall, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight we are in Ottawa for a big time Western Buckeye League showdown between the Ottawa Glendor Titans and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Now, Dar, tonight features two of the top prospects in all of Ohio, and I want to talk about keys to the game. And let's start with St. Mary's and 6'11 Ohio State commit Austin Parks. Well, you know, with St. Mary's, there's there's basically three things that St. Mary's needs to do to win this game. One thing is they need to box out. When I say box out, I mean aggressively box out. They've got to get the second opportunities. They've got to keep OG off the board. The other thing is withstand this OG pressure, and that's not an easy thing to do. Everybody finds that out, but you've got to withstand that. And the last thing they need to do really is, is just go out here and play smart. You know, make their shot selection smart, get the best shots they can get tonight. Absolutely, and for Ottawa Glandor, they have only a junior, Colin White, but he's already solidified himself as one of the top prep players oh, in the state. Let's talk about keys for the Titans. Well, the Titans are always the same, you know. You know, come out here, play your game, keep it up-tempo, you know, take the ball away as much as you can. Attack the board, you gotta get those rebounds. And this is a big team they're playing up against, so it's gonna be a challenge. But OG's not small in their respect either, so. And the last thing is force those turnovers, which is what their defense does. It forces the turnovers, and they play off that defense to get their offense going. Thanks a lot, Dar. It's a packed gym. We're excited for the game. We hope you are too. We're going to step aside, but when we return, it's the Titans, the Rough Riders, and high school basketball on WOSN. The official designing this varsity contest have been selected and assigned according to the proceedings. Start with St. Mary's. They start with 6'1 senior Jaden Lotz, six foot senior Braden Sullivan, and then three trees across the perimeter. Jace Turner averages 10.1 points a game. He stands at six foot seven. Evan Angstman averages 13.6 and stands at six foot six. And then, of course, we talked about him in the pregame. Austin Parks, six foot 11, averages just under 20 points per game for the Rough Riders who come into tonight four and four, one and one in the Western Buckeye League. And for the Titans, they start with a little bit of a smaller lineup, but yeah, still some not, size. Not a whole lot, though. Grant Schrader, a 6'1 junior. Theo Mag, a 6'7 senior. He averages 15 points per game. Hunter Sexualty starts with them at 6'2. He's also a senior. Colin White averages 18 a game. He stands at 6'6. And then Caden Erford averages 12 a game, standing at 6'4. He's a junior. The Titans come into tonight 7-2. They're 2-0 in the Western Buckeye League. And Dar, their two losses were to two pretty good teams, Lutheran West over, uh, I think that was in Akron, and then they lost to Princeton, a Division I team, by one point. A total of four points that they've lost by this season. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and they're a typical Titan team. I mean, they're quick off the, off the ball, you know, up-tempo all through the, through the game, as we talked about. You know, they, they put pressure on. You can see there you're averaging 68 points a game. You know, only giving up 43, and a lot of that is they force a lot of turnovers. And, you know, they feed off of those turnovers on their defense to get those offensive points. You know, you're a little surprising with St. Mary's. When you look out there, they're 4-4, four and four, but, you know, you see that, all that height out there, you know, and ability. You know, but they're on a two-game losing streak right at the moment with a loss to Spencerville and then Finley. And, you know, they had a string right there in the middle of the season where they won three in a row. But, you know, they've really got to right their ship right here. And what a tough opponent to try to do that against in the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Yeah, absolutely. And it seems like St. Mary's has kind of had problems taking care of the basketball, right? They don't really have a... Uh, a sole point guard that can handle the rock necessarily. They like to spread that around. And you talked about this Ottawa Glandorf pressure. They're going to pressure full court this entire game. And it's going to be really interesting to see if St. Mary's can handle that pressure. You can see there the last time these two met was January 7, almost a year ago. Ottawa Glandorf won at St. Mary's 43 to 32. And we're about ready for tip as we take a look at the officials. Eric Schwab, Clay Ehrman, and Josh Fries doing the honors tonight. And we are underway. It's Parks against Mag as Parks tips it out. And St. Mary's will start with the basketball. Well, St. Mary's definitely going to have to, like we said, be very selective on their shots. They also want to kind of control the tempo a little bit themselves. They want to keep Ottawa Glendorf from uh, getting as many opportunities as they can. Parks double-teamed, and he throws it away. Nice steal there by 
24, that's Caden Erford. Now White across the court, it goes to the corner. Good patience from the Titans. Hunter Stexelty lost it briefly, now he gets it back. We talk about Colin White and averaging 18.9 points a game, but he's also averaging almost five assists a game as well. White's gonna try a three, this one's no good. Misses badly to the left, and St. Mary's gets the rebound. So he's averaging almost five assists a game, almost three three steals a game as well. So, you know, definitely the auto blend up offense runs through him, but they've got so many players that can score. Now White goes up, and that goes in. It was a goaltending anyway. Basket counts. The score is 2 nothing. Sorry about the error on the score line at the bottom. Technology still trying to catch up with the, uh, the nice Ottawa Glandorf scoreboards here. There we go. Two nothing. Titans on top after a Colin White basket. And that was that takeaway and, and basket. And, you know, we see Ottawa Glandorf do so often. And that's turnover number three already, Dar. That's three possessions, three turnovers for St. Mary's. And this is what we talked about. And, and we haven't even seen the Ottawa Glandorf full court press. Not yet at all. And, and the thing about Ottawa Glandorf, it's not just, you know, they got some height out there, but they got long arms and that quickness. And that's what really, you know, bothers teams so much is their quickness and their ability to get out to the ball. Three on the way. That's short. Pulled in by Jaden Lotz. St. Mary's sitting back in his zone, and the Titans really not able to get inside and get anything at the rim. No, and the key for St. Mary's, as we said, is they got to control the boards, not let Ottawa Glendor Glendorf get second opportunities, which they've been able to do so far. Here's Jaden Lotz, picks up his dribble in a little bit of trouble. Now sends it inside to Jace Turner. Turner backs his way down, tosses to Parks. Parks loses it on the way up, and another turnover. That's four already for... Uh, St. Mary's haven't even had an opportunity to really get a shot off yet. Four possessions, four turnovers. Titans on top, 2 nothing. All moved around the perimeter. It's with Grant Schrader. Now White, the mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound grab there by Angstman. The only thing that's really saving St. Mary's right now is Ottawa Glendorf's not been able to convert either even when they get in those turnovers. We've got a foul against the Titans before the contact at the basket. We'll take a look here at who they call it on. It's going to be on Grant Schrader all on the floor. So it will be inbounds from the baseline as you take another look here on the Leifeld replay. Yeah, Schrader moving over to try to get in position to take the charge. But, you know, foul was committed before that. Good look right there as Jace Turner gets the first basket for St. Mary's. Credit Parks with the assist, and he's had to do a lot of that this year as teams really just collapse on him in the post anytime he touches the ball. He's been good. good at finding his teammates. OG's first turnover right there. You know, and, and Turner coming in averaging 10 points a game. You know, they've got three players in double figures for St. Mary's. St. Mary's breaks the press. They get onto the block, shot up, it's oh. good. Jace Turner with the basket, and it's 4-2 St. Mary's on that ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And that's a nice shot by Turner, too, because that's he's a little bit away from the basket, and he throws that up there. And that three good from Colin White as the Titans take the lead back. It's an elite drain-cleaning three. White drains that one. I'll tell you what, if there's one flaw in White's game, it's usually the three-point shot. He's only 7 for 27 coming into this game for 26% but he nailed that one right there. There's some pressure from the Titans forcing the sixth turnover. It's unbelievable, I'll tell you what. And the thing about it is, is it's not just the Titans coming out. They play this the whole game, and you really got to be physically fit to play against this team. And, you know, and Tyson McCarthy likes to run in a lot of players, too, back and forth, you know, to keep fresh legs out there. So, you know, as an opponent, you really got to be in shape. Now a three from the corner. That one's no good. Angstman with the rebound. Score stays at 5-4 as Lotz brings it up. Runs into trouble. Almost turns it over. Almost over back right there. And how about that? The big slam from Parks. Nice little lob pass. The back of that defense fell asleep. Well, I don't think that's the only one we're going to see tonight. From Austin Parks. Put it around the basket. The big man will get it. I think he's going to get it. Flush it down. 
Here's White, quickly swings it over to Levi Unterbrink. Now White tries the three, gets it. That's two for him. Draining, elite drain cleaning threes. Now a foul on the inbound. That'll be against Theo Mag. First for him, second against the Titans. He's going to get a break right now. That was already pretty, pretty plenty in for that one there. With the foul, he's taking the seat on the bench. He just needs to rest. It's Dave Westrick checking in for him. St. Mary's trying to break this pressure once again. Hanksman sends it up to Parks. Now the Rough Riders getting their half court set. This is Coben Owens. And look at that, another turnover. Make it seven. Titans coming the other way. White going to try again. Three for three. That one's no good. It was actually two for three before that one. So make it two for four for White. The score stays at 8-6. And I'm surprised because, well, they obviously know that he's only 26% three-point shooter because they've moved him wide open for the last three of them. Three-pointer too long from Braden Sullivan. Now the Titans. White attacks, floats it up, floats it in. Right. You can see right there. Why he's one of the top prospects in the state. Nice touch from inside. And 10 points already. All 10 of them for Otto Glendor. St. Mary's back the other way. Nice little move from Angstman as he turns and scores. That's his first. St. Mary's back to within two. White, he's going to try again. Hey, oh. if you're going to leave him open. That's it. That's, you got to get somebody out there on him now because you know he's feeling it out there. You know you can't leave him wide open. I don't care what he came in shooting on three pointers coming in this game. You cannot leave that guy out there. Pass ahead. Parks gets a nice quick pass, but the Titans take it away. Number eight turnover. Here comes Caden Erford the other way, and we've got a foul. Jace Turner with his Jace first. Turner Pardon me, that's his second. Back right now it's Colin White, 13, St. Mary's 8. And one more correction, that is his first team first for St. Mary's. White will inbound. Here's White, <laughs> maybe thought about one there. Instead, it's the opposite wing, Levi Unterbrink can't hit. And look at that block. That's into the fifth row. Austin Parks says no. How'd you forget about him? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It, you know, they haven't had too, too many second opportunities. And that was one of them right there. And Austin Parks says, no, no, you're not going to get that one. We'll get you the replay later on. In the meantime, three-pointer no good. And Parks grabs the rebound. Quickly the other way goes Braden Sullivan. Sullivan gives to Parks, but that's over and back. Turnover number nine. Right there, Parks has to establish himself on the other side because the ball had already been established in the front court. But since he jumped from the back court, he gets tacked with the over and back. And again, that's part of OG's, you know, Titans pressure because, you know, you just get disoriented as far as what you're doing and everything else, just trying to get the ball down the court right now. 2-3 zone from St. Mary's. As soon as the ball goes to the baseline, Parks will drop down. And it'll be more of a 3-2 look. Another open three. This one's short. Taken by Grant Schrader. Mag gets the rebound, and he's blocked from behind by Parks. That's two blocks for Mr. Parks, but it's out of a ball underneath. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to move around underneath there with Austin Parks under there. Not a lot of room to move anywhere in here, but Colin White finds some space, and he has point 14 and 15. That all 15 for the Titans. And really, you know, it's not that they're trying to they can't stop him underneath there. He just, you know, outmaneuvering everybody right at the moment. Under a minute left and a quick moving first quarter. 15 to 8. Titans lead on the ultimate scoreboard. Inside goes Braden Sullivan. He can't finish. Titans the other way. Here's Schrader, goes all the way to the rack, scores, and, oh, pardon me, I think it's an offensive foul instead. It is indeed, so foul number three wow. against the Titans. The first called against Grant Schrader. We'll get a look at the Leifeld replay. 
Yep. Defender definitely had to establish his position right there. Now at the next level, that's going to be called a block because he'd be in that restricted zone. Right. But in high school, that's not a thing. It's up to the referee's discretion and set offensive foul. St. Mary's working, turns it over to the rack and in. Levi Unterbrink with the layup off the 10th St. Mary's turnover. We're just in the first quarter. And the first score by anybody outside of Colin White. 15 on the clock, lob for Parks. He puts that one in. Parks now with four points, 17-10, seven seconds on the clock. White passes to the corner. This is going to be Stechel T for three at the oh, buzzer. Look out. Drains the elite drain cleaning three-pointer. And that's a big one. Titans on top by 10, 20 to 10 here at the Supreme Court. We'll step aside, second quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's instant replays are provided by Leifeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Plenty of plays worthy of replay here tonight as the Titans are on top 20 to 10, 15 first quarter points for Colin White. 10 point lead for the Titans. Colin was the only one to score for the Titans until about a minute left in that quarter as the Titans get back to work. Well, the problem is, is you knock down three threes, but you can't leave everybody else open. Make it four threes for Colin White. Elite drain cleaning, getting their money's worth tonight as Colin on fire from outside. Four threes for him, 18 points. 23 to 10 lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard for the Titans. I get the feeling he did a lot of uh, practicing three-pointer shots during the week. Especially in this zone, uh, the Titans are so good at attacking inside making that defense collapse. It's really opening things for him outside. Back to work are the Rough Riders. Here's Parks, probably catches it a little further away from the basket than he'd like. Still turns, still fires, can't hit. Rebound tipped around, eventually grabbed by Theo Mag. White, open again, he's gonna try it. He's gonna oh, get it. look out. And a Metzger financial timeout taken by Coach Hegeman and St. Mary's as Colin White is en fuego at the Supreme Court. We'll step aside, 6.49 to go, second quarter, 26 to 10. Titans on top as you get a look at the replay. And he knew it right away. As soon as he let go of it, he knew it. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. St. Mary's needed that timeout as Colin White caught fire. Two threes in a row, five total already in this game. St. Mary's breaks the pressure and a nice layup at the other end. That's Cobain Owens. Colin White has 21 of the Titans' 26 points here. As they lead 26 to 12. St. Mary's really needed that basket there to kind of slow down this momentum. OG has been, you know, piling on to them. Titans moving around the perimeter. Pass out to White. Swung around to Levi Unterbrink. White gets it back. Unterbrink goes baseline, and his pass almost out of bounds. Fight for the rebound. Parks grabs it. Parks. Pulls up, good transition defense from the Titans, and then it's passed away. Turnover 11. Here's White at the basket. He's fouled and scores. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, let's go for three points a, a different way. And we'll have our first Matt's heating free throws tonight, or free throw, rather, as White gets the bucket. Foul called against number five, Cobain Owens, his first team second. White is 76% free throw shooter, too. Get a look at the Leifeld replay here and just takes a little bit of contact as he drains the free throw. And if you're going to foul him on a layup, you better make it a hard foul because he is a great finisher at the rim. Pass ahead. Mag gets a hand on it, but too much body. He'll get tacked with his first foul, third against the Titans. 
fans don't like it, but you know, just because he got his hand on the ball doesn't mean it's not a foul. He's still got a right. lot of body in there. A lot of body in there. And also, I love it here in Ottawa because it doesn't matter how much their team is winning by, they are not happy with the referees <laughs> when a call goes against them. Yeah, they're definitely into the game no matter what. I mean, throughout the entire game. And there was not a parking spot available when I got here an hour before tip-off. Incredible support from the Ottawa Glandorf community as St. Mary's moving it around the perimeter, trying to get something going here. Nice. OG playing great defense underneath. I mean, they really are. You know, they're, they're fronting and back in uh, Austin Parks, not allowing him to get to the basket. Parks turns, goes off glass anyway, over two defenders. He has six points. Here's Unterbrink, and he's fouled. That's a lot of contact right there from Jace Turner. That'll be Turner's second, team third. Yeah, Parks comes in averaging 19.4 points a game, you know, just under five rebounds a game, you know, which with his size. But then, like we talked about, you know, everybody's out to, to guard him, you know, two or three guys only most of the time. It's definitely tough playing Small school basketball, nice pull-up jumper there. Hunter Stecchelty with the basket. 31-14 now the score, Stecchelty up to five points. Much better job breaking that press. That shot misses everything as the Titans haul in the rebound. That was Caden Erford. Erford quickly ahead to Levi Unterbrink and an offensive foul there. And that's two drawn by Jace Turner today. First against Unterbrink, fifth against the Titans as Cobain Owens checks in. We'll get a look here at the replay. Yep, he set his feet. He, yeah, he did. He does a good job of that. I mean, not afraid to take the body contact. Gets in position really quickly. And that one almost taken away. It would have been huh. St. Mary's basketball, but Jace Turner, or excuse me, Evan Angstman didn't realize it, touched it before it went out. And so make it turnover number 12. Yep. Yeah, 12 turnovers for uh, St. Mary's, three for Otto Glendorf. White rips out to the right side, goes off glass. That's no good. Parks with the rebound, gets it over to Cobain Owens. That's the other thing with Colin White. He has that quick one first step to get around defenders and get to the basket. You really got to be on your toes if you're going to be guarding him one on one. That pass over the head of Parks. White inside, goes up. He's fouled. Two more Matt's heating free throws coming up for the Titans and Colin White, who already has 24 points in this game. Yeah, and how do you stop him? I mean, you know, he has such fluent movement with the basketball. He knows where he's going with it. He knows what he has to do and how to finish it off. First free throw good is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Thanks to Matt's Heating for sponsoring tonight's free throws. Colin White, two for two from the line so far tonight. Make it three for three. And a timeout taken by the Titans. A 30-second Metzger financial timeout. We'll be right back with more after this. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Welcome back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium where that alt scoreboard reads 33-14 in favor of the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Strong effort offensively and defensively tonight from the Titans. They forced 12 St. Mary's turnovers. Colin White has 26 of those 33 points for the Titans. Yeah, they're doing a much better job of getting out on him on the outside, not letting him shoot up those open threes, but then he just takes the basket on you. Inside, then the double team. Parks gets it away. Three-pointer on the way from Evan Angstman. That's no good. St. Mary's grabs the rebound. A second three taken. That's by Owens. He can't hit. 
Unofficially, that's going to be the third three-pointer that St. Mary's has thrown up. Little reverse layup right there, no good from Unterbrink. Couple extra opportunities fall short for the Titans as St. Mary's comes the other way. Pass tipped. St. Mary's doing a much better job taking care of the basketball in this quarter compared to the first as Parts takes a dribble, now picks it up, goes back door, it's tipped away, and eventually finds the hands of Caden Erford. Turnover 13. White dribbles to his left. Good defense right there as Sullivan cuts him off, but then White's able to get around. Two shots no good. Dave Westrick on the follow-up, and it looks like a timeout. They say St. Mary's 32nd timeout. The Metzger Financial Services timeout, 2.16 on the clock. And Dar, you talked about it in pregame. This St. Mary's team is really going to have to handle the pressure. So far, not so good. It seems like they're settling in a little bit, but still really struggling. Well, they are, and, they're, and even though they've been able to break the press and get the ball into half-court offense, they've not been able to finish it off at the basket. You know, they're pl still playing a little bit out. Parks is a little bit out, of, out away from the basket. I think he needs to move a little bit more underneath there. But, you know, it's tough even on half-court offense. Your passes have got to be crisp. they got to be on mark because OG's going to be there to take them away from you. There's no lanes really open for you. So, you know, if you don't hit on the outside to pull OG away from the basket, you're, you're going to be in trouble all night long there. And they've only shot up three three-pointers for uh, St. Mary's, a team that hits, you know, over 40-some percent from three-point range. Rough Riders break the pressure. Just over two minutes to play in the first half. Go inside, but it's taken away by Westrick, and he's fouled by Parks. Parks got him in the face, immediately pats him on the back, says sorry. Kind of sportsmanship you like to see as Parks has tackled his first team fifth against the Rough Riders. Well, that's just what we were talking about just a second ago is your passes have got to be on the mark. I mean, you can't just lob them in there, and that's what happened on that one. They were trying to get to Parks because he's being fronted by somebody, one defender, and somebody behind him too. So somebody's going to be there to take that away from him. Here's Steck Schulte. They're face guarding Colin White right now as that pass is tipped away. Ultimately grabbed by the Titans. White goes baseline. Passes across and a lot going on. It looks like Parks is injured. That'd be a tough loss for St. Mary's. We're gonna get a look at a Leifeld replay here. You see White go baseline. Oh. Maybe. Grabbed his, his stomach. Well, we'll let you do the speculation as Parks takes a seat. Looks like he'll be okay as White catches the lob and finishes. 28 for Mr. White. St. Mary's trying to get something going before halftime, trailing 35 to 14. This pass ahead and out of bounds, make it 15 turnovers. Oh, and this and is a golden Parks opportunity. is okay as he heads over to the scorer's table. Sorry, yeah. Doc. No, that's all right. I was going to say this is a golden opportunity with Parks on the bench, but now he's back in there again for OG. But, you know, it looks like, I don't know, maybe he took an, uh, an elbow into the stomach or something like that just briefly. But Maybe something like that, Doc. Yeah. Titans lead 35 to 14. A corner three-pointer, and they are oh, red out. hot from outside. An elite drain cleaning three-pointer by Caden Erford, who averages 12 points a game. He's also a 42% three-point shooter. And Titans take it away again. 16 turnovers. Pass inside. That one's knocked away. Eventually grabbed by Erford. Yeah, Erford came into this game 22 for 53 from three-point range, and that's the first opportunity he's really had. 30 seconds on the clock, 38 to 14 the score. Here's White, guarded far from the basket. Braden Sullivan steps up. White gets some separation. Sends it over to Levi Unterbrink. Now Erford, 10 seconds on the clock. White 
isolates, steps back, three on the way. That's good. Oh A goodness. tough shot from Colin White just before the half. He has 30 first half points as the Titans lead 40 to 14 at the break. We will step aside second half coming up after this on WOSN. Three point shots tonight are sponsored by Elite Drain Cleaning and Water Damage Professionals. Your first call when you need water extraction, help with clogged drains or carpet and upholstery cleaning. Find Elite Drains on Facebook. Welcome back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium. And we'll take a look real quick at that last shot, which we thought was a three-pointer. Our angle was off. We'll take a look at this step back from Colin White, who, by the way, has 30 points of Ottawa Glandorf's 40. You see his foot was on the line there. So instead of a three, it was credited as two. I don't think anyone's too frustrated <laughs> about that as the Titans lead 40 to 14. Evan Skilleter, Dar Nevergal here with you at the Supreme Court tonight in a WBL matchup between these two schools. And Dar, not a good story for St. Mary's in that first half. They have turned the ball over on more possessions, speaking of, 17 turnovers. They've only taken 13 shots in this game. They've turned the ball over on more possessions than they've taken a shot. So really struggling to get things going are the Rough Riders. But on the other hand, the Titans have been fantastic. 40 to 14, they lead Colin White with 30 first half points. He's still in the game here. We'll see how many he ends up with, but we've got a big slam in the meantime as Theo Mag runs the lane and finishes with authority. Said, you know, St. Mary's is 7 for 10 on two-point range when they get an opportunity to shoot, but they're over 3 from three-point range. And they make it turnover 18 hey, for St. Mary's on the 10-second violation. Get a good look at Theo Mag, the senior right there. Mag averages 15 points a game, but right now it's Colin White doing most of the scoring as Mag that dunk just his first basket of the night. That was kind of a statement dunk, I think, by Theo Mag. White misses the mid-range jumper. St. Mary's grabs the rebound. St. Mary's led in scoring by Austin Parks. He has six points tonight. They double him in the post. His pass tipped away. It's going to go all the way to the backcourt and out of bounds. It'll stay with St. Mary's. St. Mary's 4-4 four four this season, 1-1 one one in the WBL. They have wins against New Knoxville, Wapak, New Bremen, and Marion Local. Losses against Defiance, Dublin, Jerome, Spencerville, and Finley. Spencerville, Spencerville and Finley losses are their last two games. So coming into tonight, trying to avoid a three-game losing streak, but a big hill to climb. Oh, no, that's absolutely. Defense falls asleep. Nice cut there by Jace Turner as Parks gets another assist. That's six points now for Turner. Here's Mag at the elbow, dribbles out, gives to Stechel T. Mag gets it, goes up and finishes over the defender. Nice little pick and roll there. Trying to get Mag into the game a little bit more. And then he gets a steal. 19 takeaways for the Titans. They quickly get it to the corner. That three no good. Sullivan grabs the rebound for St. Mary's. Really rebounds, there's only like 20 rebounds between the two teams tonight. That three goes. That's an elite drain cleaning three-pointer by Sullivan. Titans go quickly the other way. Inside and in. Quick answer by Caden Erford. It's five points now for Erford. 46 to 19 the score. Rough riders break the pressure. Sullivan steps into another Whoa, three. Look out. Braden Sullivan with back-to-back -back threes. Braden was 16 for 29 coming into this game from three-point range. Mag working against Parks, smartly sends it out to Colin White. White dribbles inside, nice skip pass corner three, splash. Caden <laughs> Erford drops in the three. Extends the score to 49-22. That's the second three-pointer tonight for Erford. Kingston takes it across the timeline, gets to Parks. Parks 
Good footwork inside, but he misses on his way up. Lost the handle. And now an easy basket at the other end. St. Mary's slow in transition. Little shove there by the Titans. That'll be against Grant Schrader. Schrader actually attacked with his third first of the half against the Titans. They lead by 29. St. Mary's gets it into Cobain Owens. Here's Parks, double teamed. So oh, thought about a three. Instead, it's taken away by White. White goes up and oh. misses the dunk. Offensive rebound and the put back no good. Another offensive board. Titans trying to finish and they get the third one to go. That's Levi Unterbrink. Pass into the front court is grabbed right there by Jace Turner. Turner passes it inside the Parks. It's taken away, and Parks will be tapped with his second foul, first against the Rough Riders. 21 turnovers now for St. Mary's in this game. Uh, we, know, we know what OG's pressure is like, but boy, I'll tell you what, tonight has just been one of those games where they've just been everywhere. Yeah, at some point, you're not even sure what to say. Uh, it, you, well, you can't throw passes over the top like that very often against them, that's for sure. Titans up top. Nice crossover right there. Parks goes up in the air. Matt goes up, and he's fouled. So we'll get a couple Matt's heating free throws here for Theo Mag. That was a smart move by Uncle Gunner there. I mean, he got the guys up off. You see it on the replay. He got both of the big trees up off the ground and then just flipped it underneath there into Theo Mag. Mag's first free throw up and good. Again, tonight's free throw sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. If you're home in the energy efficient zone, call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. That's five points now for Mag all here in the second half. Dave Westrick checks in. Mag looking for point number six, and he gets it. Rough Riders inbound. Here's Sullivan. A lot. Rocks, falls, gets the ball back, and a quick timeout taken by Coach Hegeman with 3.21 on the clock in the third quarter. The Titans on top, 55-22, as we take a Metzger financial timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's instant replays are provided by Leifeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Welcome back to the Supreme Court. Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium, where Titans are up 55-22, make it 55-25 after that three. Jace Turner with the three. Now at the other end, an offensive foul. We've seen three of those taken by St. Mary's tonight. It's against Colin White, his first. Team second of the half. Yeah, Turner is leading uh, with you know, so far through nine points now for uh, St. Mary's. And another steal, another turnover. The other way, and no good on the first oh. attempt, but White able to finish on the second. That's his first bucket of the second half. He had 30 first half points, up to 32 now, as the lead extended to 57-25. Well, just showing he's human here in the second half so far. Just two points. In the meantime, everybody else on the team is getting the ball. How about that spin from Parks as he goes baseline and throws it down? That's Parks' first basket in the second half. Now with eight points. White the other way, spins inside. He's fouled and finishes through the contact. How do you guard that? I don't know how you would ever guard that. 34 for Colin White. And a heating free throw coming up for the junior. Yes, I said it, the junior. 
We'll take another look at the Parks dunk. Yeah, that's a no-brainer for him. If you get him on the inside and he gets around a defender, he's going to throw it down. White hits the free throw, has 35 points. 33-point lead for the Titans. Titans, you can see, back off the pressure a little bit here as Parks spins, fires, and hits. That's a good look from Austin Parks. Yeah, that was a nice-looking shot by him, a little spin-around jumper. And I've heard people say when, the, when they watch Parks play for St. Mary's that he doesn't look as impressive as a Ohio State commit should as White misses the three and he grabs the rebound. I'll tell you what, though, it is very, very hard to play when you are double and triple teamed every single time down the floor, right? And when you put a player like Austin Parks on a team where, you know, not, nothing against St. Mary's, but on a team where you have to guard all five, you can't really double team or someone's going to break free and get open, it's a whole nother story. So, you know, right here you see him double team. He breaks through the double team, goes up and finishes. That's a great play from a really, really good player. Imagine him just going one-on-one -on -one oh, yeah, against absolutely. the defender. Absolutely. You know, and it was. It was a nice move there. You see it here on the replay, just spinning right between two of them, you know, and just laying it up over the rim. Parks is up to 12 points. You get a good look at the length right there as he finishes the three-point play for the Mats heating free throw. And that's St. Mary's first free throw of the night, first time they've had an opportunity to shoot a free throw. White outside, three-pointer on the way. That's long. Another rebound from the big man Parks, and a nice pass ahead. Jace Turner grabs it, hands it off, and an easy bucket at the other end by Cobain Owens. And you can see OG's come back in the way a little bit. And they're getting a little lackadaisical. I wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout taken as this one is an easy layup. Looks like Coach McLaughlin's gonna tell his team to slow down at least. 30 seconds on the clock, 60 to 36, the Titans lead. Ball goes over to Caden Erford. Down to 14, ball back to Erford. Now White. White denies the screen, dribbles into a double, five on the clock. To the basket goes Erford, he's fouled. Wow. Unfortunately, partner, this game has kind of turned into a free-for-all. They're just kind of running down the court, going through yeah, the motions here. Like playing a little sandlot ball out there right now, you know. Everything they misses is the asphalt. Erford hits the first mat, heating free throw. So far, OG perfect line. Seven for seven. Of course, I'll probably just jinx him on this one here, but yep. Come on, Dar. You know better. <laughs> Parks launches the last second heave. It's no good. And the third quarter comes to an end with the Titans on top, 61 to 36 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, the vision of Alts seamless spouting. Welcome back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium, where that scoreboard reads 61 to 36 in Dar. I'll tell you what, it was a 22 to 20 St. Mary's third quarter as they were getting annihilated in the first half, but ended up winning that third. Yeah, they did, and you know, second quarter was 20 to four. Ottawa Glendor, so OG kind of pulled, pulled away on their press a little bit. You know, like you said, they maybe a little lackadaisical when they had that big lead. And, you know, not taking the, the same kind of shots they were taking before, you know. And St. Mary's starting to pick it up a little bit on the inside and get some shots on the inside. White goes baseline, blocked hard okay. by Parks. They turn around and looked at him like, where'd that come from? Colin White with 35 points. He had 30 at the halftime break. He'll inbound from the baseline under the basket. In for Mag, quickly swung up to the top. Now a screen, three-pointer on the way. That's short. 
Offensive rebound grabbed, and a nice block there by Angstman. Quick pass ahead for Parks, and we've got a foul. There you go again, 61 to 36, <laughs> the Titans on top, and you've got fans standing with red faces screaming at the referees. We're gonna get a good look here. Yeah, not too sure, but it's a foul nonetheless. Parks inside, he's fouled by Mag. It's Mag's third foul. Parks will go to the line for a few minutes. Heating free throws. You get a good look at Coach McLaughlin there. Man, he didn't look too happy either. So, you know, he, even though you're up 61-36, you're always learning out there, and he's always teaching his players. Parks gets the first free throw to go. 14 points for the big man who will be playing college basketball in Columbus for Ohio State next year. Hits both free throws. Got a nice touch of the line for a big guy, too. Titans go inside. Mag's going to challenge Parks. Gets him in the air and finishes with the foul. Theo Mag not afraid of the big man. That's eight points now in the second half for Theo Mag. Looking for number nine. That's 6-7 going up against 6-11. 6-7 finishes the three-point play. <laughs> yeah, you think. 6'7", man, that's a pretty good sized kid for high school. And he's still got a four inch disadvantage on that. I believe Austin Parks has been 6'11 since he was a freshman in high school. I think they had him listed at like 6'10 and a half at one point. <laughs> Finally gave him that 11 as the turnaround jumper short. Mag grabs the rebound, might have been fouled, doesn't matter. Now White finishes that one. White up to 37 points. Here's Parks at the elbow. Parks dribbles inside. Good footwork as he oh, finishes nice that guy. one. It's the benefit of being 6'11". Your hand's not that far from the basket. No, absolutely not. Just got to reach out there and lay it over. Still takes some really great touch as oh, White. Look out. Up to 40 points. 69 to 40, the Titans on top. What a nice shot from the corner, too, and that's a tough shot. Here's Parks again, hands this one to Turner. He goes up, blocked by Mag. Theo Mag having a quiet but great night here for the Titans. A good positioning on that one there. Just being able to knock the ball away. Parks goes to the rack. He's fouled. Can't finish. But some Matt's heating free throws coming up. Another look at that three-pointer as White just flared off the screen. Knocked it down from the corner. Parks, first free throw good. St. Mary's shooting very well from the free throw line. Yeah, they were 77% or 76% free throw shooting team coming into this game. And Parks has hit all of his. Parks rolls that one in as well, make it 69-42. And you did mention that Colin White is a junior. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? White with the backdoor cut. That ball is knocked away. Nice job there by Owens. That's only the sixth turnover of the game for OG. Owens outside. Angstman tries the three. It's no good. Mag pulls in the rebound. And the point guard, Theo Mag, bringing it up the court. And has it taken away immediately. And St. Mary's gives it right back. 23 turnovers. Unbelievable. That one's a tough one. That's a, yeah, that's that a tough one to that's avoid. You get the ball in a tough position. Ball sent up over the top. Hunter Stecksholte will bring it up for the Titans. Has it poked away from behind. Loose ball. And Mag was on the line when he touched it. So a turnover for the Titans. As St. Mary's gets it right back. 
That's 23 turnovers for St. Mary's, eight for, you know, for Otto Blendorf tonight. St. Mary's really has played, you know, decently in the second half. They just have not been able to get enough shots off, and they really were stymied in that first half. There's another turnover. Ball outside. White's going to get an open look, and that one's short. Maybe too much time there for Colin White. Skip pass. White grabs it. He's fouled. Mary's foul number six against St. Mary's. Next one puts Ottawa Glandorf at the line. You can catch the Titans in action tomorrow as well. Got a lot of Titans on the station late. The girls game last night. Obviously tonight. Tomorrow they play Finley right here at the Supreme Court. Have the Titan girls next week on Thursday against Bath. And that's the always OG a, Fort Loramie girls game as well. And that's always a tough game for OG against Finley. I mean, Finley is a well-coached, fundamental team. White has a shot blocked right there. Turner got a lot of the ball. Titans fans think he got a lot of the arm, but play continues. Parks stops, sends it outside. It's Braden Sullivan. Sullivan back to Parks, who turns. Fires, that's no good. And a loose ball eventually finds its way to Hunter Stecksholte. White inside, floats it uh, up, floats it in. 42 for Colin White, who I believe has played every second of this game so far. Sometimes when you have a player that's that hot, you just let him burn. Absolutely, just get the ball to him. Almost takes that one away, and I have a feeling we would have seen a pretty nice finish at the other yeah. end had he gotten a breakaway. Ty Buckland heads over to the scorer's table. St. Mary's goes with the second unit. Hunter Stecksholte will exit to make way for Ty Buckland, 5'11 senior. You see a little conversation going on between Tyson and Colin White. Yeah, and I'm not sure what Tyson was signaling out to him, but Collins still in the ball game. And he also looked over at the student section and told him to cut it out. So that's what happens when you're a coach and uh -huh. the athletic director, right? You got to make sure everyone's behaving. St. Mary's again with that second unit. This is Heath Dillsaver. Sends it up to Alex Haney. Haney turns, shoots. It's no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with St. Mary's. See how long they leave Colin White in the game. I don't, I don't know what his career high is. If he's getting close to it, sometimes the coach will yeah. say, yeah, go ahead and go for it. It's kind of like he was signaling out like a two-minute mark, you're going to come out or something like that, you know. So if you're going to score, you better do it. Right. 71-42 the score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Just over three minutes to play in this game. Shots up, that's no good. Rebound pulled in by Levi Unterbrink. White, no one in front, oh, finishes out. again. And now Coach McLaughlin takes the timeout for a substitution. And they're going to take Colin White off the court to a standing ovation as you get a look at that dunk. 44 points for Colin White tonight. The junior with a huge game, exits to a standing ovation. Can't blame these fans. No, absolutely not. And, and this was a game for Colin White where he set a tone early on for this game with those three-point shots. Now, like I said, he came into the game only hit 26% of his threes, but he was on fire in that first quarter. And from that point on, you knew it was his night. Tremendous game and a big WBL showdown. Titans take that one away. Another turnover for St. Mary's. Make it 25. Hunter Brink sends it inside. A foul in the finish. Grand Schrader with the bucket. And he'll have some Matt's heating free throws. Four points now for Schrader. 
one free throw, rather, as you get a look at the Leif Bell replay here. The Leif Bell shot, there we go. Wrapped up on the arm. I don't know how he finished that I don't shot. either. He just muscled that one up there. His whole bicep was grasped by the defender. Free throw up and good. Now he will take a seat. Grant Schrader, the last starter for the Titans, to head to the bench. Two and a half minutes to go. 76-42 the score. Shot no good. And if you look down this roster for Ottawa Glendorf, if you're looking at Junior and uh, Grant Schrader, Colin White, Caden Herford, and Dave Wester. Layup up and good. Ty Buckland finishes, and you're absolutely right. And I promise you there are a couple of freshmen, sophomores, and maybe eighth graders ready to come up for the Titans. They just filter in talent. Yeah, we've said that before. If you drive around this town, you're going to see basketball in everybody's hand out there shooting in the driveway. And we have a running clock here as the score, or the spread, excuse me, has gone up to 36 points. If you're unfamiliar with the running clock rule, if a team gets up by 35 points in the second half, there's a running clock, and the only way that it goes back to normal is if the team trailing gets back to within 30. Make sure you stay tuned after the game for an interview with Coach McLaughlin as well as our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award. I don't know, Dar. It's going to be a tough one to uh, pick know. tonight. I to think long and hard about Oh, we're done. <laughs> St. Mary's trying to get something going before the end of this game. Pass inside, almost taken away, but back in the hands of the Rough Riders. Nice pass inside and a foul. That might do it. The clock will continue to tick. Brennan Steger heads to the line. They'll have to get him the ball quickly if he wants to get any points out of this. Snager's first Matt's heating free throw is up and good. Get a look at the upcoming schedule as St. Mary's will take on Versailles, Van Wert, and Lexington. That's a tough schedule following this tough loss against the Titans. Now move St. Mary's to four and five on the season, one and two in the WBL. OG is 8 and 2, 3 and 0 in the WBL. Hits zero here at the Supreme Court as the Titans move to 8 and 2, 3 and 0 in the Western Buckeye League. St. Mary's falls to five, 4 and 5, 1 and 2 in the WBL. Your final, the Titans 78, the Rough Riders 44. We will step aside, but stay tuned. We'll be right back after this on WOSN. Welcome back to the Supreme Court where we have Colin White. Colin, first of all, congrats on the win. And I want to talk about the win because obviously a big game coming in. You've got 6'11", Austin Parks coming into the house and uh, we all know about him. He's a great player. What was the game plan coming in? I'm going to ask you how you executed. I think I know what the answer is going to be. Uh, but overall, how happy are you with the performance from the team as a whole? I'm really happy. I mean, we. Our plan was a pressure in the full court, and I thought we did that. I mean, they only had about 14 points at halftime, which is it's just great. And I thought we really ex extended them. They, they're very big, heavy. And so I thought we pushed them out, and we didn't let them get inside, and we executed pretty good. Excellent. Well, 44 points tonight. Congrats on the big night. I'm just going to let you talk about the game and, and what the 44 meant to you. It's all, it's all a credit to my teammates and coaches. I mean, after the first shot, I mean, I, it went off the side of the, the side of the backboard. Coach said, have a night, and uh, you, know, you listen to him, and he's great, and uh, the first couple go in, he's like, keep shooting. I mean, they're going in, and they kept going in. They kept leaving me open, and uh, you get hot quick, and your teammates just, uh, they give you the ball, they feed you the ball, and uh, you really uh, rely on them, and they were great tonight, and shots went in. Awesome, well, congratulations. Good luck, rest up, big game with Finley tomorrow night. Thank All right, you. thanks, buddy. Thank you. 
Be sure to catch tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner and highlights of all our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winners on our YouTube page. We just talked to the Stolly yeah. Insurance Hustle Award winner. I don't know what you say. 44 points for Colin White in a big, big game. Well, it was a huge game. And, it, and he set the tone right off the bat in the first quarter. You know, he came in, he hit those three-point shots, you know. He struggled a little bit this season on three-pointers. He made sure that didn't happen tonight. He hit those 30 points in the first half, kind of a pedestrian 14 points in the second half, but that's all he, he got other players involved in it. You know, assists, he did about every, everything he had to do. He hit the foul line, just a great overall game. And I'm not sure if that wasn't the school record of 44 points tonight. It might have been the reason that Tyson left him in there the way he did. But yeah, great game by that young man. Congratulations to Colin White and the Titans. Want to thank the athletic department here, Tyson McLaughlin, the athletic director for their hospitality. Mm -hmm. Great facility here at Ottawa Glendorf and Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium. Want to thank our crew, directed by Ben Reif. On replay was Megan Sherrick. And on cameras, we had Caitlin Henderson, Cassidy Driscoll, Clay Jordan, and Marshall Jordan. Again, your final score from the Supreme Court, it was Ottawa Glendorf 78. St. Mary's 44 for Darn Evergall. I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.